of it is time for us to take a look at some of our headlines for this Tuesday morning. It is June 13th, 2017, and we're going to take a look first and foremost at some of our national and international headlines. The Trump travel ban has suffered a new defeat in the courts. In this case, a appeals court, Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, looking at the Hawaii decision and saying, yeah, you're pretty much still looking for a ban on Muslims, which would be a violation of the Constitution. And so even though the president is expecting it to go to Supreme Court and still expects that he's going to be able to win, at least for now, he has suffered another defeat at getting this travel ban passed. Puerto Rico's governor is promising to take the case for statehood to Washington after the people in Puerto Rico gave him a 97 percent win, saying go for statehood. This is interesting because only about 23 percent of the people who could have voted showed up to vote. And so this plebiscite, which is supposed to be, you know, the majority of people living in Puerto Rico, well, only about a fourth of them showed up. So even though almost all of those said, yes, we want statehood, it's likely going to be an uphill battle to get the U.S. Congress, which ultimately holds the power over Puerto Rico, to allow them to be their own state. It's going to be kind of an uphill battle here because a lot of folks are saying, well, if only a fourth of the people showed up, maybe it's not really a legitimate vote. Do you know what the turnout rate is in your local community? I can tell you that in the Fairbanks North Star Borough, the last local election that we had, the turnout was 23%. The year before that, it was only 19%. And if you look at some of the other recent trends, if you factor in some of these other aspects of people who aren't even registered and those who are registered to vote but who have not been voting lately, we're looking at it roughly 11% turnout rate locally. And if the U.S. Congress says, well, this isn't a legitimate vote in Puerto Rico because only 25% of the people showed up, then maybe it's time to turn and say, we need a provision in our local elections that if enough people don't show up, the vote doesn't count. Wouldn't that be interesting? A, one of the critics of Vladimir Putin, Alexei Navalny, was detained ahead of a planned protest on Monday. And although it was a planned protest, it was an unauthorized rally. And hundreds of people were arrested, and some in Moscow, some in St. Petersburg, and around the country, because it was an unauthorized rally. That will be my subject of commentary today. More news, of course, than we have time for. A couple of them just briefly. There was a big earthquake that rocked Turkey and the Greek island of Lesbos. Kellyanne Conway, although she was caught on a live Twitter feed mocking Trump staffers, she had denied that it happened. And it looks like folks are now pushing for a resolution in the Gulf crisis by going directly to Saudi Arabia and these other Gulf states and urging them to work things out with Qatar and drop the blockade. We'll be keeping an eye on it for you. If you've got a news tip for me, send me an email, steve at radiofreespeech.com. If you'd like more news than this, I do a 30 to 40 minute audio version that I email directly to my paid subscribers. If you'd like to become one of those, you can get that delivered to your inbox as well. Send me an email for a free sample, steve at radiofreespeech.com.